Hi, I'm Keith and I'm gonna show you how to change the fuel filters on a John Deere 650K. We have two filters. One is a fuel water separator, it's the first fuel filter here, and the second filter is right behind it. And then I'll just splash a little bit in here to reopen this ball valve or you won't be able to get any fuel from the tank through the filters to the engine. The fuel filter is located in the rear right side door here. We have two filters. One is a fuel water separator, it's the first fuel filter here, and the second filter is right behind it. That's your final fuel filter. So because the fuel tank on these machines might be higher than the fuel filter depending on how they're filled, you turn this little ball valve right here, and that closes off the fuel coming from the tank to the filters so we don't create a mess. So you have a water separator drain here that's used for when you have water in here, you can drain it. That's a different part of the maintenance. So just to get it out of the way, I pop the little rubber hose off and that way I can get my drain pan under here a little bit. The next thing to do is there's a sensor here that we're gonna have to un uh, pull off. There's a little tie strap here that I'm gonna cut off to access the plug. Now, I hope you can see, there's a little red safety right here. That little red safety needs to be pulled down. You may need a set of pliers to help you pull that safety down a little bit. So now you can see that safety is all the way down. You're able to push the safety release right here and you can wiggle the plug off. Now that that plug is off, this fuel water bowl on the bottom here, it's clear so you can see if there's any water in it. We're gonna remove that from the filter. I have a, a drain pan here to catch the fuel that's coming out. Once that's removed, just set it off to the side for now. And now sometimes you can pull the filter off by hand other times you'll need a pair of pliers. Now that we have the first fuel filter off, we can access the second fuel filter a lot easier. So I change it at the same time. Right now we can use the same pair of pliers and loosen it off. Now that we have the old fuel filters off, we're gonna put the new ones on. Um, this has an electronic fuel pump in it, so we don't necessarily have to pre-fill the fuel filters. We can do it when we go to start the machine by cycling the key on and off a couple of times. But we do want to make sure that the sealing O-rings are lubricated before we put it on. So I do have a jerry can of uh, diesel here. And then I'll just splash a little bit in here. It gives me some to get on my finger and wipe on the seals. Now that the seals are lubricated, we can thread it back on. Sometimes these spin on fuel filters when they have the O-ring instead of the mating surface style seal, you may need a tool just to get it so that this gap is closed and it's touching. These fuel filter is on now. Now we're gonna to have to put the water fuel separator filter on. Again, I'm gonna splash a little bit of fuel in here just so that I can lubricate up the seals. Once the seals are lubricated, we can thread this filter on. Now the filter is on, we still have the fuel bowl to put on. As you can see, it's pretty dirty. I like to get this all cleaned off here. So I have a little bit of brake clean in here. You can use different cleaners.
Now on here is a seal. The new fuel filter comes with a new seal. So we're gonna wanna pick this one off and pull it out to replace it. You can use a little screwdriver or in this case, a pick. Once I have it off, I'll wipe in there a little bit, make sure it's clean. Get it all the way down at the bottom. Again, you can splash a little bit of diesel on it to help lubricate it. And now we can spin it into the bottom of the water fuel separator. Again, we only put it on by hand. You don't want to plug it in. And I'll spin it back a little bit so you can see the safety that I clip up. So the red safety here, we have to make sure is all the way up and that prevents it from coming loose. Now that it's on, I can remove my drain pan. And I can put the rubber drain hose back in. Final step when you're done changing the fuel filters, is to reopen this ball valve or you won't be able to get any fuel from the tank through the filters to the engine. And that's how you change the fuel filters on a John Deere 650K. Please support the channel, like, comment, and subscribe.